Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another 2K video and the start of a new series. So this is going to be I Rate Your Squads and it is very, very self-explanatory. I'm sure you've seen other people do these type of videos, including, of course, DBG. He does I Rate Your Teams. So I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and swap out teams for squads. But other than that, it is going to be the pretty similar concept. So over the last couple of weeks, I have had so, so many messages on Twitter, I've had them on PlayStation Network as well. I've had people send me messages on there asking me to rate their squads and give them advice. So I thought, why, why not go ahead and make it into a little bit of a series? So I put out a tweet last night, and I think that tweet already has like 50 responses to it. So obviously, we're not going to be able to get through all 50 of those. As you can see at the top right here, I have got 12 ready to go today. And I think that should be a nice number. If it's too many, I'll bring it down to 10 for next video. And if it's not enough, then I can also bump it up to about 15. So if if you're not in this first video, just rest assured there will be plenty more to come. I'll try and make this maybe a three times a week, something like that, because yeah, even after that one tweet, I can make like three or four videos of that one tweet, which is madness. And that's not even going into all the DMs I've got as well. So if you guys do want to get featured, make sure to reply to the tweet rather than DMing me, because when I'm going through to get all the tweets for the video, I am just looking at the one that I sent out rather than going into my DMs. So the preface of this uh, series is going to be pretty simple. We're going to rate your squads out of 10 and also give you guys a little bit of advice if you need a place, a need a place, need a position that is needing an upgrade. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And the first squad we have got is from Tony, who says, I have 200k on all round to spend. So first thing here I would say is you need to upgrade that center position. Brooke Lopez is so, so down slow. Uh, and then you've got Thumb Maker off the bench, who is a very good card. Let's not get it twisted. But if you come up against a giant, if your opponent is running somewhere like the Diamond Boban or like a Bol Bol or a Manute Bowl or a Taco Fall, you are going to get destroyed inside. So you need to have a big physical presence down in the paint. And I would probably would recommend picking up a Diamond Boban just for that situational play. He's not very expensive, so you can easily afford him. And then I would say at the starting center role, get rid of the Brook Lopez and bring in someone like the Diamond Harry Giles III, a very good card, Amethyst Marvin Bagley, or of course Diamond Bam Adebayo. Other than that, it's a very, very strong squad. James Worthy, Kevin Porter Jr., Malcolm Brogdon, of course, all very good. Giannis has been out for ages, but is still a fantastic card. And off the bench, Bonga, Roy Reddish, Hachimura, very, very solid stuff indeed. So let's move on. And out of 10, actually, let me, I completely forgot to actually rate that squad. Um, I would give that probably a, it's a solid squad. I'll say I'll give that a seven. It's a very, very solid squad. Next up, we have got AD, a goat who comes in with this squad right here saying I run a lot of five out and pick and pop and I'm looking to improve my small forward and power forward positions for under 200k so small forward and power forward to be fair it's a very very strong squad you've obviously got the um, frostbite set locked in right there you've got the magic johnson ad and then uh, the mark eaton down there I would probably say the center position needs more work than the small forwards and power forwards because Embiid I don't really like him personally I don't think he is a fantastic center at the small four position, Jonathan Isaac is incredible. So is RJ Barrett. Off the bench, I would probably swap around Cam and RJ just because Reddish is the better defender. He's got the Hall of Fame clamps and Intimidator, and he is an inch taller. So I'll say move RJ to the two, Cam Reddish to the three. And then even off the bench at the power four position, Giannis is still incredible. Um, of course, he doesn't have range extender, and neither does Jonathan Isaac. So if you are looking for players like that, um, you are going to have to splash out a little bit. Maybe pick up a Diamond Lamar Odom, someone like that. But again, I would recommend upgrading that center position and getting rid of that Joel Embiid. But again, it's another very squ strong squad. Probably a little bit stronger than the first one we looked at, so I will give that one a 7.5. Next up, we have got Joe. I run the Heat 13 playbook and Hawks 2018 freelance. Once I get Wilt, he will replace my Embiid and Roger will move to the backup center position. I have about half a million MT to spend. Any suggestions? Also, keep up the great content and stay safe. Thank you very much indeed, Joe. So, when he gets Wilt, Wilt will be coming in at the starting center position, and Dino will come down here and replace Embiid. And then it is looking like a very, very strong squad. You have Galaxy Opal, Luka Doncic, Brandon Roy, James Worthy, and Wilt in the starting lineup. That is very, very strong. Um, and then off the bench, you've got RJ, who's fantastic. Dr. J, also very good. Isaac Bonga down there as well. If you've got the 500k and just want to ball out, I would say go ahead and pick up someone like Galaxy Opal, Andre Kirilenko, put him in that starting lineup at the three, and then move Cam Reddish down. You come off the bench in place of RJ Barrett, most likely, or you could take out Dr. J, depending on which one you don't like the most. But um, yeah, a very, very good squad. I'm going to give that one 
Probably like uh, just under a nine, probably like an eight and a half, because obviously you can have more Galaxy Opals. If it's a full Galaxy Opal lineup, that's going to get a 10. Uh, so that's kind of where the benchmark is. So I don't want to give out some super high ratings just yet, but that is a very, very strong squad. So I'll give that one an eight and a half. Next up, we've got Riley. I like to run pick and rolls and kick it to the open guy. And we have got Rex Chapman. So he got him out of the vault. Very nice indeed. We've got Tyler Hero, Cam Reddish, Rui Hachimura, and Greg Oden. So it's a very different squad to what we've been seeing so far. And then off the bench, a couple more spotlights in players. Jason Tatum at the pink double level, I don't think is a great card because of his release. His release has been a bit of a problem with all of his cards this year, which um, really does suck. Uh, Tyler Hero... Not a crazy card. I don't think he has the best animations. Um, and then Christian Wood, Jackson Hayes, they're okay. But again, they are not incredible. Greg Oden is good. Again, there are better options out there though. So with that 46k that you've got there, I would say go ahead and pick up the Diamond Harry Giles. I think you can pick him up for that price. Get him into that starting center position. Move Greg Oden down to the bench or just go ahead and sell him. And then move Amethyst Bagley to the backup center position. That would be my advice. So it's not a bad team at all, but um, not quite as good as we have seen. So probably give that one a 6 Point five, Maybe that's a little bit harsh. Maybe a 7. I feel bad if I give anything under a 7. Uh, next up, we've got Tommy. Please rate. I use the 13 Heat Playbook. And this is... So I've, I've tried to include a vast like variety of teams in this. And this is obviously one of the top, top teams. We have got 10 Galaxy Opals. And then, of course, a Pink Diamond Yana sitting down there as well. So the Evo Ben Simmons, Luka Doncic at the shooting guard position. Josh Smith, Larry Bird, Taco Fall. And he's got Alex Caruso, Brandon Roy, James Worthy, Timmy D, and Bol Bol. So I'm not going to give this one a 10 because there are better players out there. I know you can't afford them because you've only got 100k, but there are better players out there. I would personally have Kareem in place of Taco Fall. I would also have someone like AK-47 instead of Tim Duncan because his release is a problem. It is so, so slow. Uh, and then at the backup point guard position, you could probably have someone better there other than Alex Caruso. Um, obviously, people like the Magic Johnson Galaxy Opal, he is going to be like top, top tier. Um, but he is still an incredible team. So that is going to get a 9.5 from me because you can't get it much better. Next up, we have got Sakit or Saket. Saket. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, I have 200k and I'm on the Pink Diamond token board as well. Almost being done getting Harden. Okay, very nice. You're going to be adding in a Galaxy Opal Harden into this squad in the not-too-distant future. And it does need a little bit of work. Let's not get it twisted. It does need a little bit of work. So the point guard position is fine. Pink Diamond Westbrook is insane. And Pink Diamond Jeremy Lin, even at this stage of the game, can still hold his own. Kevin Porter Jr. is insane. So is Cam Reddish. Rex Chapman, a very nice card. Rui Hachimura, pretty good. I would say the bench unit in terms of your bigs is not good. Julius Randle is not a good card at all, in my opinion. And then Amethyst Kareem definitely needs to get upgraded. So at this backup powerful position right here, I would say you want to be picking up either like a Danny Manning, a Lamar Odom, a Gerald Wallace, and then having Gerald Wallace at the three and Hachimura at the four, or someone like the Diamond Jonathan Isaac from the token board. And then at the center position, again, I'm going to recommend the same few guys I've done already. Harry Giles, Marvin Bagley, or the Bam Adebayo. So again, not a, I mean, a very good, solid squad, but not incredible. So again, I'll probably give that one a 6.5. Next up, we have got Pure AK. I have 400k, and I'm willing to spend any amount of it. I also have Trey because he's my favorite player. And that is absolutely fine. I'm not going to duck people points for running their favorite players, because at the end of this day, end of the day, this game is about having fun. And if you want to run your favorite players, then by all means, go ahead and do so. So you locked in the Prime Series 2 for that KG which is a bit of a madness. So I understand that um, obviously KD and Oscar Robertson will be untradeable and obviously Ben Simmons as well. But the starting lineup is very, very strong. Dino Raja is, of course, a fantastic card. Off the bench, again, Jonathan Isaac, Giannis. Again, like I said, I don't really like Joel Embiid down there. I don't think he is a great card. RJ Barrett down there as well, a very nice card. I think for the MMT that you've got to spend, I don't really think you can make many additions to this squad or any improvements, really. Obviously, I would say definitely work on getting this Ben Simmons Evoed up. When he gets Evoed, he is just an, a different animal, an absolute animal. So uh, this squad right here, I'm going to give this one an 8.5. We move on to Jay. This is my no this is my no money spent squad. How do you rate it? So this has been taken on a potato, but we can still see who the players are. So we've got the Galaxy Opal James Harden. So obviously you've absolutely sweated out those spotlight sim player challenges and fair play to you for doing that. James Harden, we've got Cam Reddish, Brandon Ingram, Siakam, and then Dan Issel at the centre position. So I'm already seeing some problems with this. And then off the bench, we have got uh, Jeremy Lin. 
then Gus Williams, Fred Brown, Kevin Porter Jr., Jackson Hayes. So I don't think that's a line that we can run with because you've got three point guard or shooting guards right there. You only have one option for the small forward, power forward, and center position. Uh, so yeah, bench work definitely needs, or bench definitely needs some work. But at the starting lineup, this guy right here, Dan Issel, he has got to go. Six foot nine at the center position is an absolute disaster. You will get absolutely destroyed by pretty much any center out there. If someone's running a seven foot seven Manute Bowl, or a seven foot, uh, what is he, seven foot five taco fall, you're gonna get destroyed down in the paint. So definitely get Dan Issel out of there. If you have to move Jackson Hayes to the starting lineup, then do so. Uh, and then, of course, you have be able to use some of the other spotlights in players. So knowing that you've got all of them, obviously, if you've got Harding, you've got all of the diamond cards. I would say get someone in there like Diamond Mitchell Robinson, a very, very, very solid defensive card. Not going to give you much on the offensive end, but um, defensively is going to be really solid. And then maybe someone like Christian Wood as well. So not an incredible squad. Going to give that one a 6.5. Next up, we have got Ashaz. He says, Hawks Freelance, 350k budget. Also, which Opal from the rewards market should I get? So, you are indeed coming up to the open market. 690 tokens right there. Very nice indeed. And the best token player, Galaxy Opal 1, in my opinion, is the Galaxy Opal Josh Smith. That card is absolutely unbelievable. So, I would say when you get there, pick up Josh Smith, put him in your starting lineup in place of Siakam, and move Siakam down to the bench and get rid of Dan Issel. Dan Issel just doesn't cut it in this game. Even at the power forward, he's not incredible, uh, and I wouldn't really recommend having him in your squad. And then, of course, you can move the uh, Jonathan Isaac in place of Siakam, maybe. Personally, I would prefer that. I do like Jonathan Isaac significantly in this game, uh, and Siakam is good, but again, I don't think his animations are quite on the level of Jonathan Isaac, but it's a very good squad. Mike Conley at the point guard position definitely could be upgraded a little bit, but you do have the Amethyst Isaac Bonga down here, which is nice. Um, other than that, I would still probably recommend... I mean, you can easily afford something. You've got 500, 600k in the bank right here. So you can go ahead, ball out. I mean, Galaxy Opal, Alex Caruso is only like 100k. So that's not going to break the bank if you want to go ahead and pick him up. And then, of course, you can splash out a lot on another Galaxy Opal. And like I said, I've recommended it a couple of times, but um, Galaxy Opal AK-47 is the best value Opal in my game. In my game? This game is not mine. In the game, in my opinion. There we go. Uh, for about 250k. But um, yeah, a very solid squad, not gonna lie. Um, I would give that one a 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have Seth. I was thinking of maybe upgrading my starting small forward. I have 500k. So we've got the Jamal Crawford, a very nice card. Luka Doncic, of course, fantastic. Roko, used by many of the um, top comp level players. So you know that is a good card. We've got Giannis. We've got Taco Fallen off the bench. We've got Brogdon, Roy, Cam Reddish, Isaac. And Dino, Dino Raja, it's not Dino, Dino Raja. So that is a fantastic squad. You've got 500k to uh, upgrade your small forward position. I'm going to recommend him again, Galaxy Opal AK-47. But if you want to go even higher than that, if you want to really, really ball out, then go ahead and pick yourself up a Galaxy Opal KD or Galaxy Opal Larry Bird. Either of those guys could come in at that starting small forward position. But that is a very, very good squad. I'll give that one an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have Waters, who says, looking to upgrade my center for under 65k. We have got Steve Nash, Jaron Fox at the shooting guard position, which is a little bit undersized. We have got Giannis, Marvin Bagley at the four, George Murasan at the five, so I can definitely see why you need this uh, center position upgrading. And we got off the bench, we've got Isaac Bonga, Jeremy Lin at the diamond level, uh, Pink Diamond Iggy, and Diamond Miles Bridges. Evo, Ruby, Kareem, which is uh, yeah, a bit of a problem, so... I would suggest out of this, I would say move Marvin Bagley to the five. Obviously, we're getting rid of uh, George Murasan and Kareem right here. Marvin Bagley to the five. Bring in someone like the... Uh, who else? Is who's the cheapest good center uh, at the moment? I think it probably is the Diamond Bam. I think he is the cheapest one out of him and uh, Harry Giles. So, so go ahead, pick him up. And then at the power forward position, you can pick up someone dirt cheap like the Diamond Danny Manning. He can come in, slot in very nicely. And then after that, I'd probably recommend selling off the Pink Diamond Jaron Fox because you can put in someone dirt cheap at that shooting guard position like the Amethyst Lance Stevenson, who will make this squad even better. But um, this squad is probably going to get the lowest rating of the day. I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, and this one's probably just going to be a 5 out of 10. But you can see why. I mean, you've got Sapphires in there and Rubies. So you, I hope you can understand why. Uh, and of course, make sure to make it better for next time. And then be sure to just submit, submit again, guys. If you do take on board my advice and change out a couple of players, let me know and send it in again. And then uh, we can see how the improvements have gone. Next up, or last up, we have got Kanan, who says, I don't really want to spend more than 150k on any one position, but I'm willing to get rid of anyone. And the Jeremy Lin is fully Evo. So we've got Pink Diamond Jeremy Lin. We've got Brandon Roy Roko, Yanis Dino Raja. 
We've got Isaac Bonga, Will Barton, which isn't a card you see very often. Paul Pierce, Jonathan Isaac, and JaVale McGee. So straight away, JaVale McGee, I think for the lack of offense he gives you, I think he does need to come out of this squad. Maybe even like a Diamond Boban, just because you're going to need a giant if you do have Dino Raja. Obviously, six foot 11 at that starting point guard. Not starting point guard, starting shooting guard. No, starting center role. Wow. Uh, and then off the bench here, yeah, Paul Pierce. He has got the steady shooter badge, which in my opinion makes him makes me not want to use him ever. Because obviously that decreases the amount of open shots that you make. So that is a very bad badge in my opinion. Um, and then if you need that small forward for 150k, you can pick someone up like the um, Diamond Gerald Wallace. I think he is fantastic there. Or do a spotlight sim and get yourself the Diamond Cam Reddish. So that is going to do it for the first episode of I Rate Your Squads. I'll put out another tweet in the next couple of days. I want that to be featured in the next episode. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.